Hello, my name is Joseph Lee. I'm doing a video presentation on YouTube on how to install this printer wirelessly on your computer. First, this is the Selfie 9 CP910 printer shown on this website. This is the CP910 uh, photo printer. If one thing uh, you can probably find a cheaper price for this photo printer on eBay or other website, but I would not pay $100 for this photo printer. It will, the price will go down significantly down later on. So, um, first of all, how do you install this uh, Canon selfie photo printer? Well, basically you go to the Selfie CP910, uh, the CP user guide, and go to page, I believe is page 36. That's well, really 30. It's, okay, it's really on page 30, printing via Wi-Fi. So if you want to print from your computer using Windows 8 or 8.1 uh, expect to be a little miserable when you install this uh, printer on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 it is not a easy task to do if you're not an engineer or a computer science major but actually if you try to follow the manual to install this Wi-Fi printer onto your computer. You will find out very quickly that the instructions are incomplete and, in, and somewhat wrong. So, uh, but even though this instruction manual is not perfect and, and has some, a lot of mistakes and, and, uh, and, and it's not completely complete, try to follow as best as you can what is said. Okay, um, here, right now I'm doing a presentation from how to print from your computer on Windows 8 or 8.1. Well, if you want to install this printer using Windows 8.1, you need to do it on the internet, from the internet website. And you need to go to usacanon.com and search for the drivers for this uh, photo printer and when you do you get this download right here and when you get this download you double click and follow the follow the instruction in the meanwhile after you install the software you need to install the software it, uh, with this intention that you're going to install this uh, driver using Wi-Fi you have to Assume that you're going to uh, install this driver using Wi-Fi. And uh, maybe I can show you a demonstration on how to do it, even though uh, I already installed it here. You go to this uh, right here. You follow this instructions. Say yes. And maybe the reason why... Oh. Maybe the reason why it didn't let me reinstall this um, driver is because I already installed it. And um, but anyway, if you already installed it, then you need to, and want to you use the Wi-Fi di direction. You follow these instructions. You go to the menu on your cell phone photo printer, go to connection settings, then go to Canon CP910 via Wi-Fi network and, and press OK. You have to press OK three times, after, once at every time, one, two, three. And then when you go to WPS connection, you press OK and WPC. And then you push and hold the access point button, then proceed. On the access hold button, hold down the WSP 
S connection button for a few seconds. And then you establish connection between your photo printer and access point A. And for my computer, um, it's a little confusing how you connect the router. You're not connecting the Wi-Fi from your printer to your computer. What you need to do is that you need to connect the Wi-Fi connection from your photo printer to a wireless internet route, a router, a wireless router in your home that gives you the internet. And my internet connection is called Irvine One. But your internet connection could be something else. It could be Linksyn, it could be Netgear, or uh, other internet connection. But for my case, you make sure that your Cellfi printer will be connected to the same internet router connection from your computer. And for my case, is Irvine One. And if that doesn't work, then you go to this non-WPS access point and follow these instruction right here and if that doesn't work which will happen probably you need to go to control panel and let me close this and what I'm about to tell you if you want to skip the first six minutes of this presentation you might as well do that if you want to review every uh, the essentials of installing this Canon Cell Fi CP910 printer. What you need to do is that uh, you go to control panel and then you go to hardware and sounds and view devices and printers as shown here. And I click here and it's cranking right now. Uh, you need to wait a little bit. Ah, there it is. And I got two icons for the Canon Selfie CP910 which I cannot understand. Why can I just see one icon for the Selfie 1 printer? So, let's check the second one. Obviously, this uh, this shortcut for the Canon Selfie not CP910 printer is not the right icon that connects to my selfie printer. So I go to this one. Ah, there it is. Then I go to printer properties and then I see two selfie uh, CP910 printer properties. The one without the WS and the one with the WS. And I'm assuming that this one, the Canon Selfie CP910 WS, is the one responsible for the wireless connection for my printer. And once I click that, I get this um, Canon Selfie CP910 WS properties. So we are so far so good. Okay. And you have these folders, general, sharing, ports, advanced, color management, security, and about. Go to ports. And you will understand why I was pulling my hair out to figure out how to fix this. Because before I, um, before I, before I was unable to print this, uh, I, I didn't, the check mark, this is the correct check mark, WSD-4, WSD port, Canon selfie, CP 910 WS, but before I check mark here, I check mark a different here. <laughs> you see, uh, I check mark the wrong. I it's not really me who check mark. It was the computer Windows 8 or 8.1 check mark the wrong uh, port. The port. Um, uh, the port. Uh, uh, icon here. They check mark here, but the real correct uh, check mark is should be here saying WSD port. And once you uh, apply it and OK it, and let me get my photos. 
if you go to my photos right here, uh, let me see my photo, uh, pre-wedding photos. Uh, here's my pre-wedding photos. If you go to my pre, uh, if you go to my photos, if, here, if you go to photos, and go to print, and you'll see the selfie CP nine ten WS, and click print. You will find out uh, that your printer works. And uh, basically, if you're not an engineer and, and you want to install this printer using Windows 8 and 8.1, I don't recommend it, obviously, for this printer because it's way too difficult if you're not an engineer or a computer science major. Because what I just told you in this video presentation is not mentioned in their manual, and it should be. And if you want my opinion about Canon Printer Division, they are in deep trouble. If they don't know how to make an ordinary housewife who has no engineering degree and no computer science background, and if you ask her to install it, she will pull her hair out like I did. And if Canon doesn't get their act together, they're in deep shit. Nope. I mean, sorry I said that. I meant to say deep trouble. Thank you for this presentation.